So letter C. Letter C is going to be a lot easier because three only has one possible set of factors. So this is going to be either 3x something and then 1x on the other side something or x first on one side and then 3x on the other side. Okay. Now over here, I'm going to list my factors for the other number. But wait a second. It's negative 2. What are the factors of negative 2? Well, it could be 1 and negative 2, negative 1 and 2. Uh, it could be, uh, let's see, 2 and negative 1 or negative 2 and positive 1. So I have four sets of factors. Let me put a little more separation between them. Uh, because I've got negatives, I need to list each set of factors, possible factors twice and put the negatives in alternate, alternating places. All right, now I'm just going to test this out in my head and see, as I do some mental math, which set of these factors, when I plug them into the first and the second spot here, when I do the OI steps of FOIL, the outer and inner steps, which ones add up to positive 5? So if I plug in negative 2 here, I'm going to get negative 6 plus 1x is negative 5. Now, that's close. That's really close. That probably means that when I switch the negatives, it's going to work. So let's use the second set, okay? I'm going to highlight this so we know I'm using it. Uh, so if I do 3x times 2, that's 6x minus 1x is 5x. I found my set of factors. So this is going to be 3x minus one and then x plus plus two okay and let's just do this in my head and make sure this works so 3x times x is 3x squared plus 3x times 2 is 6x minus 1x is plus 5x minus 2 we got it this is it so this is the factored version of letter c Oops. All right, let's move on to letter D. And uh, what I'm going to do here is we're just going to drag all of these back in. Um, I guess we can put D down below yet. Okay, so for letter D, we have, uh, again, uh, 6x squared. Okay, so that gives us these options for our starting number. X times 6x. It could also be the other order of that. But before I do that, let's just do um, 2x. So this could be 2x times 3x. Okay. This could be 3x times 2x. And it could be uh, 6x and x. Now notice... That we're just going through this methodically and checking all of our options. Okay, so those are all our options for the 6. Now let's look at our options for the negative 4 at the end. Um, it could be 1 and negative 4. It could be negative 1 and 4. It could be negative 2 and 2. Or it could be 2 and negative 2. Thankfully, 4 gives me a very limited number of options, so this shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Okay, so what we're looking for is when I plug in these sets of factors and do the OI steps of FOIL, um, do I get, can, is there a combination that gives me negative 5? Let's start with 1, negative 4. So x times negative 4 is negative 4x plus 6 is going to be 2x. That does not give me negative 5x. Let's try negative 1, 4. x times 4 is 4x. Minus 6x is negative 2x. That one doesn't work. Uh, negative 2, 2. So x times 2 is 2x. Minus 12x gives me negative 10x. Uh, if this one doesn't work, if the number's not right, that means that the um, flipped numbers aren't going to be right either. Uh, I've proven that this combination will not work. None of these are the right answer. So I'm just going to highlight in red. We'll move on. Now let's try all four of these again with our second one. So I'm going to plug in one negative four. I'm going to multiply outer first. Two times negative four is negative eight. 
plus three is negative five. We found it. It's uh, so that gives me negative five. Once I find it, I'm done. It's gonna be two x plus one, three x minus four. And let's just multiply this back out again. Six x squared. Yep. Minus 8x plus 3x is going to be minus 5x. Yep, minus 4. This is our answer for letter D. Oh, okay, lots of work, but we're getting it. Let's do letter E. So I'm just going to take all of this and move it over. And then uh, we're just going to start over with letter E. So for letter E, we have 6x squared. Well, my starting is going to be the same as the other one, which started with 6x squared. So it's going to be x and then 6x. We'll multiply to 6x squared. Um, I could do 6x and x. We'll multiply to 6x squared. I could do 2. Oh, hold on. I should do it in the same order that I did down here. Uh, so I should just count up. So the next one after x is 2x and uh, 3x. Okay. And then uh, 3x and 2x. All I'm doing is I'm listing the different factors for the first term that multiply to 6x squared. You'll notice if you multiply any of these together, you multiply to 6x squared. Okay, now the factors for my last term. Ooh, look at this one. In letter E, we have a y squared. So what's going to multiply to make y squared? Well, um, I could multiply 1y and 8y. I could multiply 2, uh, let's see, 2y and 4y. I could multiply... 4y and 2y, or I could multiply 8y and 1y. Okay, now when you have a y in your second term, y squared, we have to find factors that multiply to y squared. So that's why I included the y's in all of these. Um, so this just adds a little bit of a tricky um, step to this, but it's still going to work out because in the middle, I'm going to have an xy term. So let's go ahead and plug these in one by one and see which ones work. So if I plug in y to the first parentheses and 8y to the second, what's that going to do? x times 8y is going to be 8xy plus 6xy. <gasps> Did we find it on our first one? Let's just, so if I plug in x, so if my factors are x plus y, 6x plus 8y. Let's see what this does when we work this one out. So x times 6x is 6x squared plus 8xy when I multiply the outers plus 6xy when I multiply the inners. That gives me 14xy. Check. And then plus 8y squared. Did it. First try. Got it. All right. I like it when it happens on the first try. The letter F is only tricky because it's not written in standard form. All we need to do is rearrange this so that it's written in standard form. 14x squared minus 13x plus 3. Okay. Now I notice that my loan, my term without a variable, the last term um, is positive. So that means that my uh, parentheses terms are both going to have the same sign and since the middle term is negative that means that that same sign has to be minus so i'm going to have something minus something times something minus something i'm going to have minuses in both terms uh, we're going to start with uh, x we'll put a minus right away and then we don't know what the second part of that is but we know that the other one is going to be 14x minus something okay next we're going to do um 2x minus something and 7x minus something. Next, we'll do, I think that's it, 7x minus, 14 doesn't have very many factors, 2x minus. Okay, and then lastly, it's going to be 14x minus and then x 
minus. Now, what did I do? Again, I just listed all of the factors that are going to multiply to 14x squared. These are all the different possibilities, the, all of them that will multiply to 14x squared. Over here, I'm going to put all the possibilities that will multiply to 3. And I know that they have to be negative numbers, but except that I already put the minuses in here, so I'm just going to list the positive numbers. 1 and 3, 3 and 1. This is easy, okay? So let's try 1 and 3 in our first term. What we'll get is when we multiply outer, if, we, if this is a 3, it's going to be 3x, uh, and is negative. So I'm, I'm not going to read the negatives. I'm just going to do these all positives, and we know that they're actually negative. 3x plus 14x is 17x. That one doesn't work. Let's try the other arrangement. That's going to be um, x plus 14, uh, 14 times 3. Ooh, that's going to be like 52x. 50, so that will be 53x, way too big. So this first one is out. This isn't going to work with either set of variables, uh, with either set of our factors, I mean. Let's try 2x and 7x. So if I plug in 1, 3... I'll get 6x plus, I think we got it, 7x. 6x plus 7x is 13x. And uh, because there's a minus sign, what it actually is, negative 6x minus 7x. So let's just plug in 1 and 3 and see what we get. I think we got it. I think we got it. All right, so let's, uh, let's multiply this back up. This gives me 14x squared, check, um, minus 6x minus 7x, that adds to minus 13x, and then plus 3, that's the 1. So this is the correct set of factors. That's the factored trinomial for the third one. All right, that is how you do this. Did that seem difficult? Does it still seem difficult? I'm going to tell you the only way you're going to get this is with plenty of practice. Make sure you do numbers 1 through 34 next time.